there are a lot of questions that come up regarding the mechanics of it, uh, and Oliver is now participating in that process for the first time. It's fascinating that whenever Joseph Smith was asked to describe the translation process, he never went into great detail. He never told people the exact mechanics of how it worked. His answer was always the same. The Book of Mormon was translated by the gift and power of God. In other words, he keeps removing himself from, from taking any kind of credit. He doesn't say, it was translated by the gift and power of my intellect or my incredible ability with Reformed Egyptian or ancient languages. He never takes any of the credit for himself. He always says it was translated by the gift and power of God. Consequently, there are some who wonder about the hat, for instance, that you'll, you'll hear in, in church history stories, or you can read it in the church's gospel topic essays. Um, and a lot of paintings will depict Joseph looking through the Urim and Thummim like glasses, like spectacles, looking down at the, the plates and seeing the, the English words come through that way. Uh, I, love, I love a more balanced approach to this. One of my colleagues at BYU, Tony Sweat, painted a, a beautiful depiction, one, one depiction of the translation process with Joseph looking into to the hat, uh, and I asked him about that and, and this, this whole question of the translation process, and I loved his answer. He said, if we're not careful, we're going to swing the pendulum too far to one side or the other. We have first-person witness accounts that talk about Joseph looking in the hat as at the Urim and Thummim or seer stones, and we have other accounts that talk about him just looking at the seer stones and perhaps even at the plates through them. And so I love the fact, like Taylor's saying, that God can use a variety of means to help bring us revelation, and in this case, um, some people have wondered, well, is the hat magical? Is there something fantastical about this hat? I think it's really simple. I don't think there's anything special about the hat other than if I'm looking at a stone that's shining forth in the darkness, and if it's kind of bright, what do I do? I put that in a place that's a little darker that makes it a little easier for my eyes, so there's no, no eye or less eye strain to be able to read the words clearly that are written on that on that stone, so to speak. Uh, so just as you move forward, you're going to hear people talking about the different mechanics. At the end of the day, I think if I were you, I would default to Joseph's statement of it was translated by the gift and power of God. Rather than getting focused on how, let's focus on what we got through the translation process.